Hello everyone! Today I'll show you one of the items I've seen in Paris. To be more specific, I'll show you the rectangular sleeves. Have a look at the picture. It's a pretty usual street coat of a close fit. There's no color in it. You can see the two rectangles, which play a role of the sleeves. They were sewn on a coat. I've taken these pictures in a Pierre Cardin shop in Paris. This coat is of the same collection. Today we'll be working with such rectangular sleeves. I'll show you that you don't have to pay a lot of money to look expensive. I've already transferred the pattern from the basic pattern. I don't need a sleeve from this basic pattern. I need just the front and the back now. I put the basic pattern aside. When I cut out the front and the back, I'll measure the length of the sleeves. It takes just a couple of minutes to transfer the basic pattern. You don't need to measure anything again. I'll make a short coat, because I'm not going to wear it. I'll make it of the modeling fabric. If I was making a real coat, I would make it long, till the knee level. I don't know what I would do if I didn't have a basic pattern. The pattern is ready. Have a look at the picture. I'm trying to guess the length of the sleeve. It goes from the shoulder to the elbow, and here to the waist. The sleeve is very nice, and it hangs down beautifully. It ends a bit above the waist. You can see the small detail, it's an ornament. The sleeve is stitched up from it, and it just hangs loose down from it. You can see that down from this point goes the leather piping. There isn't any at the shoulder. Let's start designing. I remind you that a sleeve starts not from the shoulder, but a bit higher. I'll make it about 39 centimeters long, so that it goes just a bit lower the elbow. Now I'll measure the other part. It goes on the front from the shoulder. It should end a bit about the waist, so I'll make it 46 cm long. Ok, this line will be 90 cm long, and this 40 cm. The part which goes from the front to the back will be 90 or 88 cm long. And this 40 cm. Now I need to cut out the two rectangles for the sleeves. First of all, I need to straighten the bottom of the fabric. I also need to draw the center front. You need just one length of fabric.
You'll also need some for the sleeves. I want to cut a bit off the neckline. I need to cut the same piece off the back. Do not forget that you shouldn't cut too much off the back. I need to draw the center front and pin the front to it. I hope you already know how to measure the length of the item. Find the needed mark on a measuring tape, it's 85 centimeters now, and put it on the shoulder. You don't need to calculate anything, just look at the number in the measuring tape. I need to add some for a seam. I'll move this tuck to a side. I've moved the tuck, but at the same time, I want to open the armhole for about 8 mm. I want an armhole to be a bit loose, because I usually wear warm clothes under coat. I really hope that you learn something new each time. This is the back. You can see that I pinned the patterns on the same level. I'll also open the armhole in the back. You may think that it's not necessary to do it, but it'll get an absolutely different line. Let's cut the front and the back out. Do not forget that you need to add 7 mm for a seam on the neck and 1 cm on the shoulder. The coat will be of a close fit, so I don't add anything. Oh, I've forgotten to draw a line. Do not forget to make a notch in the waistline. Be very careful when cutting this part. Don't cut too much. I need to draw the tucks on the wrong side. Now I'll transfer them to the other side. There is not too much to tack, the tucks to shoulder and two side seams. I'm taking all the pins out now. I also throw the pattern away. I want you not to be afraid of the experiments and to be different. Don't stick to one design. When I finish taking, I'll try the item on. I think that you like this coat. It looks good 
and at the same time it's very easy to make. The good thing is that you already know how to make the fingerless gloves. I want to go to be straight, so I haven't made the waist tucks. Let's make the rectangular sleeves. To make a rectangle, draw the two straight angles. Use a ruler to draw the lines. I need to make a notch in the center. The sleeves are almost ready. They are just like the original ones. I'll show you how I take at least one of them. I need to mark how much to stitch. I'll attach the sleeves 4 cm away from the shoulder. I put a mark here and start drawing a line parallel to the center front. I'll make it about 18 cm long. Do the same thing at the back. Draw along a grain which is parallel to a center back. Now I take a sleeve and I draw the marks 18 cm away from the fold. Have a look here. I'll attach the sleeve this way and then I'll turn it to the other side. Now I'll start taking. You should do it more carefully than I do. I tack to the notch. Don't try to copy what I do. Do it the way you like. Draw your own lines and choose how much to add. I'm also doing everything by sight now. I'll tack to the notch. You can see that I've tacked the shoulder 18 cm down from the shoulder on each side. Now I'll try it on. You can make a sleeve longer if you want. I like it this way. I will wear it with the fingerless gloves. You should edge the sleeves from this point. You can add a lining, stitch it together with the sleeve itself, and then cover with the piping. I'm so glad I made this coat. It's not worse than the original one. You can see that it's better to open the armhole more. You should be able to put a sweater under a coat. 
It's a perfect coat for a mid-season. Make it of any fabric you like. You can see that that and fits me really well. I've made it on the basis of my 10 measurement system. I always have my basic pattern at hand. Having a good basic pattern, you can make any item fast and easy. It's a very useful thing. That's all for today. Be different. My name is Pauk Shtirina. Subscribe to my channel. Goodbye.